Hey, welcome everybody. It's your boy PJ Max, and also known as the Joy Hunter. And today I'm doing my first unboxing. Yes, my first unboxing as it relates to Hot Wheels 9 packs. Now, the see, the thing is, if you're going to buy a 9 pack, you're probably buying it because of this. The exclusive decoration. There's usually a, a particular Hot Wheel that will not be on a regular main card. And so the only way you can get it is if you purchase this nine pack. But for me, if I'm gonna purchase this nine pack, it better have some really good cars in it so that I won't feel like I'm paying $9 just to get one car. So in this video, I will tell you which cars I think are the ones that make it worth buying a nine pack. In other words, I'm looking and searching for the perfect nine pack, mainly because I already like the exclusive cars. So what matters next is the rest of the cars in the bunch. So let's get to it. Let me go ahead and get this guy already opened up, and kind of ready to go. All right. Pull cool. this guy out. I've already kind of ripped it apart earlier just so that it wouldn't take as long. And now we're here. Okay. So this again is the exclusive car. The reason why I bought this in the first place and let me show you. Oh, look at this. How about that? 60s Camaro. It's just perfect. I love that it has the low stance in the front, the big wheels in the back. They didn't go too crazy with the tampos on this. And this is what the cars looked like back in the road in the 60s when they were this nice and when you had it souped up. I also love the pipes coming out there right behind that front wheel right there for that engine. So this is worth all the money. But what else? What else would make this a good nine pack? Well, it's the inclusion of this car, a Porsche 911 GT3. Absolutely beautiful. This one, of course, obviously is in white. Look at the details on the tail lights here in the back. Yeah, when I saw this, also getting that wonderful Camaro, that was a yes. All right. What else? Well, there was also this car, which is not necessarily my favorite car, but I'll tell you, what I like are the production cars or cars that were odd rods, that mean they were production cars that were kind of chopped up to look like a cool hot rod or racing cars. And this one is based off of some Formula racing cars you can tell by just looking at it. So yeah, this wasn't too bad. Again, not my favorite car. Probably wouldn't buy this as a single, but it wouldn't stop me from buying a nine pack. What else? Well, there was this guy also showing up in the pack. Volkswagen Bug, the newer version. So to me, this one is cool. Again, it's a production car, a car that actually would be on the road that you'd see. And I love it. It's got this little license plate and everything, a little detail in the back, the tail lights, and even in the front. So this, this, this is a car worthy of having alongside of the others. Now, I love Porsches, and so take a look at this, or I should say Porsche. Here's another one, 935. So this is in here as well. This is more of my favorite sauce got the big wing on the back, the big spoiler. And so two Porsches, a Camaro and a VW Bug. How do you beat that? Also in this was this more of a rad rod type thing or a hot rod that I would have seen back in the day because, you know, you take those old cars from the 50s, you chop them up, put some flames on them. Not too bad. So this one has some pretty good details to it as well. So. Yeah, this was not bad. Probably wouldn't buy it, but I don't hate it. And look at this, Lamborghini. So this one comes with a Lamborghini as well as the two Porsches and that old school Camaro. And there's some pretty good detail there if I can get my camera to act right. Yeah, check that out. And this green paint, beautiful. And see there's the front end done pretty well. They took care of the emblem on the front and also the headlights. So <laughs> again, how am I losing with this one? Now, here's another production car. 
Phil Dotson pickup truck from back in the days. Before it was Nissan, it used to be Dotson. And look at that tail light there. Look at the detail there in the grill. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So this is actually a Mazda, so my bad. The Mazdas look kind of like, to me, sometimes the old, uh, see rotary power so Mazdas are known for their rotary power so goof on me I'm sitting here calling it a Dodson but it's not it's a Mazda so yeah, they kind of were similar but still again production car Mazda good brand I like it and then finally the last car from this nine pack this the fast Fish, which just looks like an older Mustang, like the, maybe one of the old Mach 1s, at least from the front end. So this isn't a production car or a race car or anything like that, but it was a takeoff of the Mach 1, looks like to me, and that's okay. They do that sort of thing. I just don't like cars that have feet and wheel and wheels, and it's supposed to look like a, some sort of monster or something like that. That's just kind of not what I'm looking for. So what I would do now is I would just take that, this special car, the one that was exclusive and well, it deserves something special. So whatever. as I drop it, it deserves its own space. And there we go. So now it can be displayed well, and maybe I'll get some stickers later that will put up at the back that says nine pack exclusive so after a while you collect so many that you don't remember where they came from so that might be something but see this looks perfect this looks great well anyway i hope you've enjoyed my first unboxing i do have some more nine packs that i'm going to break open so it'll be a great opportunity for you to just check out other cars other hot wheels and then if you want to go find me on instagram under joy hunter again some of these cars you know, I will trade out. Some of them I will put on my website uh, and sell as soon as the website gets up, or I'll put it on Macari or something like that. So if there's something in here that you like that you saw today, go ahead and hit me up and uh, we'll see what we can do about handing each other or trading each other off something that might be cool and give everyone watching a lot of joy. All right, it's PJ Maxx, and this is me signing out. Hey, y'all, go have a great day. Peace.